Hello there, this is Battleborn again. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the reasons, I believe, for why CPTSD uh, occurs and why it is so confusing and why it's so difficult to deal with when we talk about narcissistic abuse. Basically, what makes narcissistic abuse so extremely special form of abuse? And it has to do with the way the narcissist conducts their abuse. Because initially, when you meet a narcissist, there is uh, mirroring going on. So the narcissist mirrors yourself back to you. So I'm going to try to explain what I have realized in a simple fashion or as simple as possible. And so they mirror you. They mirror your traits, they mirror your speech patterns, they mirror your hobbies, interests, all these things. And then the abuse starts gradually. It doesn't start like a war over the night, but it starts gradually. So what ends up happening, just to skip through everything and just skip to the end of a narcissistic relationship because this was the beginning so at the end what has really happened in your mind is that you have been abusing yourself and that is why a lot of victims of narcissists and people that have gone through narcissistic abuse ends up dissociating ends up with CPTSD struggling um, with their own um, self basically after the, this kind of abuse because what you saw initially was yourself and what ended up happening was that you were abused by this person that was so similar to yourself not only was it similar to yourself but it was yourself because the narcissist has no self so what you see is yourself and you then feel like this person that you thought was real um, and had all of those traits that you liked because it was yourself and and you were abused by yourself so how can you then stay with yourself after that kind of abuse how can you relate to yourself after that kind of incident I believe that is what is really difficult for victims of narcissists and it's so important to understand that that is what happened to you that that is also what you struggle with after the abuse that you you really cannot um you want to distance yourself from yourself because being yourself is painful all, all of a sudden because all those traits that you used to associate with yourself your personality basically has attacking you it's basically like uh, like you have been attacking yourself because the narcissist even starts to mimic like i said the way you speak uh, the words you use, everything, everything, they become you and then they become abusive to you. So, so that is extremely difficult to deal with that. This person that was you basically was so, um, was basically trying to destroy you. So then when we go through CPTSD, when we go through whatever we want to call these things, but the aftermath basically of, of the narcissistic relationship and and this can go on for years um, we have to find ourselves again we have to come back to ourselves we have to reclaim every centimeter every little thing that was us um, and that is really difficult because we our brain now associate all our traits our personality with, with abuse that is what really happened that is why it's so difficult and that's why it's so difficult to be yourself after that kind of abuse again and to really embrace what you were before you met the narcissist and after you met the narcissist you you start to resent those things because you associated with the narcissist but in reality it's you it's your traits that you are starting to distance yourself from so I'm not going to make this video too long because uh, I believe it was an important message, message to get out there.
um, and and just to see it for what it is. Because initially, like I said, a narcissist is mirroring you. All you see is you. There is n nothing that is them. There is no them. They don't have a self. But when this self then starts, or when this thing that you believe is them uh, starts to abuse you, uh, like I said, you you just want to distance yourself from everything. And and at the end of the at the end of the of the relationship that you had with them, uh, you don't want to have anything to do with them, right? You go no contact and all of those things. But but be aware that you don't leave yourself when you do that. Be aware that you don't think that the narcissist were the one they were and that they had those traits that you saw because they don't everything everything was you but don't believe that you abused yourself because that is what it feels like that 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 person that was so similar to you um, did those things to you and and you start to it can, it can be this big inner conflict afterwards so like I said, I, want to, I don't want to keep this video uh, um, too long. I want to keep it short. Um, and I hope this was helpful to people out there struggling with CPTSD, struggling with uh, the aftermath of a narcissistic relationship. Uh, it takes time. And like I said, reclaim every, every piece of yourself. And, um, and, and, and you have to just get accustomed to yourself again, basically. Because um, what the narcissist did was to take you and... and and twist you on your head and 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 make you attack yourself that's what happens in your mind so thank you for listening in and have a good day